Baking pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon, I'll put it in a pancake. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes. Personally, I'm all for bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, bacon bacon pancakes. Welcome back to my channel. Today we got Dev Chat from February 25th, 2022. Today is also my birthday, so it's an extra special day. Remember that Paralives is still in pre-alpha development. If you want to see more info on their progress or any updates and other things of that nature, please visit their website, social media accounts, and Patreon page. I'll have the link for that down in the video description. Thank you! Let's get to the good good! Our first gameplay question is about how routing will work. How will routing work? Will they take the shortest path or will other factors change which route a para will take? Most likely other factors will be considered for this. For example, you don't want your para to get in and out of three pools just because it's the shortest pathway. So yeah, most likely there's going to be other factors that are considered for routing. I would like to see things spawn into the world like collectibles, flowers, fishing spots, insects, and other wildlife. We're gonna have to wait and see if this sort of thing gets added. Snow shoveling. Would you want that in Paralives? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I would like it for the pathways that the paras take, like a sidewalk or from their front door to their street. But do I really want it? Not that long ago, we had a really bad snowstorm in Ontario and it was pretty rough. I had to dig out our car and let me tell you, boy oh boy, that was horrible. We got 55 centimeters of snow that day, I believe. It was rough. So I kind of hate shoveling snow in real life. So why would I want to force my paras to complete such a demanding chore? Partial rabbit holes sound like a good compromise. However, at launch, they're probably going to have regular old rabbit holes for activities like school. Skills influencing other skills sounds like a good idea. It would be pretty realistic. I assume if you're good at playing guitar, you might be able to take some of that and be able to play piano a little bit better than someone who doesn't have any musical skills at all. That would be pretty realistic and I'm a fan of it. On to para related stuff, let's go. Having a secret career sounds too cool. Furthermore, being able to lie to others about what your para does would be fantastic for storytelling purposes. It seems appropriate, especially if your para is a spy or something of that sort. In addition, having to have the right skills and knowing the right people makes way more sense than having an ad for the job opening in a newspaper or an online website. Lying is such an interesting element that could be explored in Paralives. There are many things a para might lie about. Their job, their interests, their living situation, their relationship status, and so much more. Would you like the ability to lie in Paralives? I would. The personality system reveal will be a great day. There are numerous elements that work together for this. It'll be interesting to see how that works. Ugh, I am hyped for this reveal. I want it to happen today. Alrighty, let's chat about questions about Paralives overall. The live mode has numerous elements that come together to create the overall experience. That being said, it would make sense that the devs and future players might get excited about one element in particular. Anna is looking forward to the personalities and skills system. Sandrine can't wait to make Paras do random, cute, or funny stuff in live mode for TikTok content. Jeremy is excited about the school and job system. Andre says that creating the sounds for special emotional moments is the thing he's looking forward to the most. As much as everyone wants to know an estimate or even a guesstimate of when live mode will be started or even finished, we're not getting that today. I'm sorry. What we are allowed to know is that the action system will probably be the first thing implemented into live mode. We know that there will be mod tools, but how are they going to work? I'm not even going to try to paraphrase this. Jeremy says that at the moment the tools we use ourselves to make content for the game, such as furniture or clothes, is a part of the game itself. There is a menu you can go and add or tweak settings and content. It's not done via an outside program or anything. When we release the game, as far as I know, people will be able to use the same tools as we did to create their mods that change things, add content, or do all sorts of things I can't imagine right now with the game. I think that was a pretty straightforward response, and it clears up some of the confusion for me. 
Okay, everyone, have a brilliant day and stay hydrated. Thank you for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next one. Bye!